In this lecture, we'll try to understand about the aggregate function. There are multiple aggregate functions are there in the SQL. Among that, we are going to learn about the counts. Now, what is aggregate function first? So if you check the definition of aggregate function, it perform a calculation on a set of values and return a single value. So basically, whenever you want to perform some sort of operation, operation like let's say you want to find out the sum of salary, average of salary, count, all those things can be done with the help of this aggregate function. And because of that only we have a different different functions are there, but it will return only one value. Okay, only one column it will return. So it will not return the value for uh, like multiple columns. It will not return. Let's talk about the count. What is this count? Count is basically will return you the count of your table. Let's say you have thousands of rows are there in the table. So I want to understand like how many rows are there? How many records are there in the table? So by using the count, you can get it. The syntax is select count column name from table name where condition. You can also use a where condition. If you don't want to use that's fine. Still you can get the count for all the table. Let me take one example. So here I can see we know when I fire the command like select star from EMP one. I can see there are a lot of records are there. Okay, when I'm running it, I can see many records are there, but I want to know the count how many records are there. So what for that I can use select count count is one aggregate function star means from all the columns from then the table name. When I'm running this query, I'll get to know about the count means the number of records which are there. But if you check the output, you can see that it is returning me only one column count star. How many records are there? There are 1000 records are there in the EMP one table. Okay. Now if you want to give some filter condition, like we have a data available for different different country. So if I just show you, I can see that we have a data for China, we have data for United States. So Let's say I want to know how many records are there for China country. So I can use this with the where condition where country C O N T R Y equals to I am looking for only China record. So I can just do like this along with the where condition. I'll get the records where the country is China. So I can see 846 records are there that is belonging from the China location and the rest of the records are from different different countries like your United States and some other countries. But right now out of 1000 record China's records are 846. So this is how you can use count star even you can specify the column number also. So how many columns are there? If I just show you DESC describe EMP one. And if I just fire this command, I'll get to know about the number of columns. So you can give the column number also. Let's say column one. So because some of the columns can have null value also, right? So I can see 846. Even I can give the name of the column also. Let's say I want to know how many records are there in the ID column. Again, it is showing as 846 because all the columns, like all the columns have same number of records. So you can use star also, you can use the column name or you can give the column number also like one, two, three, four, anything is fine. This is how you can use count, which is really important. Like whenever you want to check how many records are there in the table, how many records are there in the table with some specific condition like this one. I hope this is clear. Thank you.